The Lord God, I pray for your protection to be upon everyone that is going to watch this video. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone that is going to see this. And Lord God, I pray for your Holy Spirit to speak through me, to minister through me, and touch every life that needs to be transformed through you, O oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So about two months ago, God gave me a vision. Mm. And in this vision, I was driving down the street um, with my daughter. And um, my nephew called me to come and pick him up. So I was driving to go and get him. And then he he um, he called me and told me um, that I didn't have to come anymore. Um, that someone had already come and get him. So I was trying to... Um, I was trying to make a U-turn since he he said he already had a ride. And when I got in the lane to make this U-turn, all of a sudden I began to see a vision inside of this vision. So in 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 this vision God opened my eyes to see a missile that was um, coming out from the earth. So the earth opened and released this missile from the ground. And when this missile came up out the ground, it um, had smoke and fire that followed behind it. And this missile had like wings, kind of like how an airplane has wings. It had like wings at the bottom of it. And it was very like narrow. So I asked God, like, Lord, what am I seeing? Why why is this missile coming out? And he told me that there was an attack on American soil. So America is is releasing this missile. So um, when when God told me that uh, the scene switched and I was back on the street um, with where uh, my nephew told me to come and get him, I, I was back where I had made the U-turn and now I was going in the opposite direction towards my house. So while I was driving home, I noticed that all the businesses and homes around me, there were these Chinese military men pulling people out of their homes and out of their businesses. And they were dressed in these, this khaki uniform up and down um, khaki, but it was not camouflage and they had on green helmets. So they were pulling people out and loading them up in these brown buses that had no windows. And I don't know where they were um, sending these people to. Um, and these Asian uh, military uh, people were going to all the neighborhoods and loading people up. And then I, I saw um, an Asian man that was short with glasses and he was like their commander or like their leader. And he was giving these Asian military men, um, like he was communicating with them and give, like telling them what to do from Asia. I don't know how he was able to um, talk to them. Um, okay, okay, honey. I don't know how he was able to talk to them and communicate with them, but but he was able to do it. Um, so I. I turned down um, a street to, to get to my house so I could get my mom and my kids because when I saw this, you know, I was like, no, I need to rush and, and get them out of here. So while I was going down the street to get to my house, I got to a neighborhood that wasn't too far away from my house. And I saw my mom and my youngest son and they were, um, they were hiding in this neighborhood, my mom was hiding like um, by one of the houses and my youngest son, he was hiding under the playground. So I, so I got them, <laughs> so I got them and I got them in the car um, and I told the military, the Asian military people that, oh, I was gonna come back. I have to go get my other son. But I wasn't coming back. I just really wanted to get my mom and my son out of there. So once I got them in the car, we went to go get my other son. And when we um, got, my mom told me that he was um, at one of his friend's houses that was close to um, our neighborhood. So when I got to his friend's house, their whole neighborhood was deserted. There was not even one person there. Um, I knew that the Asian military men had already been there and had taken this neighborhood and right now 
um, that neighborhood has been evacuated because of the um, Hurricane Harvey. That neighborhood, the people in that neighborhood were loaded up in brown buses and um, they were taken and I don't know where they were taken to. Um, but right now in, in present day, that neighborhood has been evacuated and that neighborhood is not too far away from my own. Um, but when I got to their house where my son was, I saw that all of their electronics was brought outside and laid out in the front of their house. So I, I thought these, these people must not want anyone to be able to communicate with their families, to tell their families where they are because all of their electronic devices were taken from them and left at their house or with these Asian military and these people were evacuated. So I saw a tablet that belonged to my son and I grabbed it and um, I went into the house to see if my son was there and I was just praying and hoping that my baby would be there. So he ran to me and he gave me this big hug and he was like, oh my gosh, mommy, I can't believe you're here. I woke up and everybody was gone. I cannot find my friend. I cannot find anybody. So I gave him a hug and I told him that not to worry that everything would be okay. And I got him in the car and I woke up. Um, there is a war coming to America. Um, everyone needs to be prepared. If you don't know Jesus, please give your life to him, accept him as your Lord and Savior, and receive him into your heart um, so that he can save you from this coming destruction. Um, God also gave me a vision of a man that was um, wearing a backpack and a hat, and he was just kind of rugged. He was running up this hill, and it was really steep, and I saw an American camouflage <gasps> truck that was chasing him up this hill. It was chasing this man up this hill. Um, and and um, I came out of that vision. And God also showed me in this room that I'm in, um, there was an angel and she was sitting on my mom's side table um, protecting my mom. She was a very beautiful angel. She had a, a really long pointed nose and um, she was just looked looked very pure and and um, beautiful. And um, then God opened my eyes to see a huge, mighty angel that was standing at the foot of my bed, watching over me. And he had a really big neck and big shoulders, and he just looked very strong. And um, God also showed me um, another angel that was. Um, very tall and he was standing by the doorway and um, he was made out of this bright white and blue light and he was just shining and um, I couldn't even see his face because the light on him was just so bright it, it was made out of the light um, so I do believe that the mark that God has put upon me and my children is for protection and these angels are going with us everywhere that we go um, also, God opened my eyes to see Jesus, and Jesus walked in this room that, that I'm in with my kids, and he was wearing a white robe, and he had um, like a majestic white robe on top of, of that, and he had a golden crown on his head that was sparkling, and he walked through with such authority and power, and I just... I praise God when I came out of that vision because I know that that Jesus is here with us and the angels of God are, are watching over us and guiding us. Um, God also gave me a dream of a street that I am familiar with and the street was turned into clouds like the pavement, the concrete, everything was made out of clouds. And I, as I was looking at this street, I saw a man come on the street with a motorcycle and he stopped in the middle of the street in front of me and an angel came and the angel was judging him and, and showing him everything he had done in his life. And the angel would tell him if he could proceed to paradise on this crossroad street or if he would have to turn around and go to, to damnation. And um, God spoke to me because I asked him, why is the street made out of clouds? He said that America has, well, Houston 
has received judgment and the people in Houston will be judged um, whether they can proceed to paradise or or have to go to damnation. Um, the, the shelters that they are putting up in, in Houston are actually FEMA camps and um, people will be asked to take the RFID chip in these camps and if they refuse or if they um, don't want it, they will be executed. And um, in these camps, people are going to start disobeying and, you know, um, doing things that they shouldn't, which is going to bring about um, them trying to instill order. And they're going to try to bring these these um, devices and say that it's a way for the government to just keep track of us and keep track of where we are in the camp or where they are in the camp, where the Houstonians are in the camp. But it's actually um, it's actually the mark of the beast. Um, and um, God also showed me in a in a dream last night that there were there was a green ticket on my little girl's shirt and it was stapled to the front of her shirt and I looked at the ticket and then I looked at my other kids and they had a green ticket stapled on their shoulder so I looked at my shirt and I saw a green ticket stapled on me and my mom also she had a green ticket on her so I asked God, why do we have these green tickets? And he said that it symbolizes a mark. And this ticket was like the color of a traffic light green. So um, he said that his angels, um, when they are released to come and rapture us, they will um, be able to identify all of the children of God that, um, that their names are in the book of life. And those with their names in the book of life have been marked to go in the rapture and, and to um, be picked up by his angels. Um, I also saw a lady in my vision last night, or in my dream last night, she was on a porch. And it was an African American lady. She was probably in her um, late 30s, early 40s. And she, um, she wrapped the, the back of her hair but the front of her hair wasn't covered. And she was um, just sitting on her porch waiting. And all of a sudden, I saw that her face and her body turned into this white light, just bright, 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 bright white. And I couldn't even see her face anymore. And um, her clothes didn't glow. It was only her. Just everything that was her, her hair, just her, began to glow. And I realized that she was being transformed into her glory, her glorified body. Jesus is coming very, very soon to rapture the church. I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel, those that have supported me, that have liked my channel, and those that have felt led by the Holy Spirit to bless me and my children in this time um, of this hurricane crisis. I want to thank you um, for all of your prayers. I just want to thank you. Um, God bless all of you and your families. In Jesus' name, amen.